Hey Siri, what's the temperature outside? It's 28 degrees outside. Don't be climbing on that. So we're out in the cold today with a uh, 1970 Case 850 dozer. It's got a four cylinder diesel engine. It has no provision at all for cold weather starting. It doesn't have a block heater. Um, it doesn't have glow plugs. It doesn't have a grid heater. It has nothing. Uh, the guy I bought it from pretty much lied to me and told me that it has no problem starting, but when, when he delivered it, it had two cans of starting fluid in, in the battery case here. Um, but I'm going to show you how to start this without using ether, uh, you know, with, with the lack of any provision for cold weather starts. It's really easy and anyone can do it. I got to hook the batteries up real quick. Watch out, Ken. I wouldn't lie to you and tell you I never started it with starting fluid because I have, but it's not good for it. Just to show you guys here. 27 degrees on the exhaust manifold, 27 degrees on the intake manifold. So this is the elbow right before the actual cast iron intake manifold. I'm just going to take this elbow off right here and I'm going to use a propane torch to force hot air in there. And once the injectors catch up to everything else going on inside this engine, it'll start up. I should add that um, the engine also has one cylinder that's low on compression and it's got a couple of lazy injectors. So it's kind of a kind of a bear to get going, but it, it does run. Okay, I'm going to back you guys up so you can see the uh, exhaust stack as well as the intake. Let's see if it'll start.
notice every... Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Yes. The camera's over there. My dog thinks I'm crazy because I'm in the garage talking to the camera. So what's the deal with that? Every time the propane torch is in the intake, it'll pick up that other cylinder. As soon as I pull it away, it misfires. I don't know. Is that from the fuel injector being bad, or is that from that cylinder having low compression? Uh, what I do know is if I let it sit in idle for about 10 minutes, eventually it'll, it'll, it'll pick up that, that missing cylinder, and then the machine will run and operate you know, fairly well for its age. Um, I'd like to fix it, though, so if maybe somebody could tell me in the comments what's wrong with it. I, I will have it in the garage here, and I'll have more videos on it when I tear it apart, but any help would be appreciated at this point. Thank you. Right, Panny Panny?